There is a life the Son of God lived while he was on the earth. Jesus had a very different life. Jesus had a very different personality. Uh, I'm here to preach from my heart to you. It's possible to have the life of the Son of God. There's something that made Jesus' life to be very much precious. There is something that made the father to call Jesus and said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Getting to heaven is more than I have received salvation and I'm going to church. There is a life. The life of the Son of God. Every minute of the day, you are very conscious of heaven. I'm speaking basically from experience I hope we can hear me I'm speaking basically from experience and I want us to realize something that there is a life that God has called us to is the life of the Son of God don't let anybody tell you that you can be perfect if you purge yourself if you can purge yourself you must have a determination in your spirit to live this life of perfection. I'm telling you because that's how we can get to this kingdom. I read the Bible in 2 Timothy 2, somewhere around 21. It says, if a man, if a man therefore will purge himself from this, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified. You must desire this life of the Son of God. I'm telling you the simple truth. No devil can touch you. I say it and I say it everywhere. I have zero worry on this earth. I am on the earth, but I am not on the earth. I am going to heaven. You must have this life of the Son of God. Sin cannot have power over you. I'm telling you the simple truth. You have no worry on the earth. Jesus Christ takes care of everything that belongs to you is the life of the son of god is the life of perfection many people talk about perfection but they don't know it's possible it says if a man therefore purge himself from this if a man therefore purge himself of this he shall be holy if a man therefore purge himself he shall be a vessel unto honor he shall be sanctified he shall meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. Jesus is calling us unto this life. It's the life of the Son of God. See, listen to me. You are avoid every occasion of sin. There is this imputed sanctification, this imputed holiness. The Holy Spirit takes away, He does the circumcision of the foreskin of your heart. The circumcision of the foreskin of your heart. The Holy Spirit purifies you. You, you, you see yourself living a life of total holiness. I'm telling you, no power of darkness can have dominion over you. It's the life of the Son of God. With this life, this is the life that causes revival. This is the life that causes fire on the earth. You know, I've been praying and talking to the Lord. I said to the Lord, why is the earth like this? I see darkness on the earth. When you have the life of the Son of God inside of you, you see just as God sees. You hear what God wants you to hear. You just have to purge yourself. There are many of us, there are still a lot of struggle in our hearts, a lot of anger, a lot of malice, a lot of self-life. The life of the Son of God is so different from this. You are exactly the Word of God. You are looking like the scriptures that you read. Which means that you are exactly conforming to the full image of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a life that the Holy Spirit wants us to live. You must desire it with all your heart. You must desire it. You must passionately cry for it. You must passionately cry for it. You must passionately have this desire whereby none of your thoughts is on the things of this world. I'm telling you the simple truth. I've been there before. I'm not lying to you. 
nothing on this earth can give you joy there's absolutely nothing on this earth that will give you joy nothing on this earth is going to give you peace nothing on this earth is going to give you satisfaction not money not sex not marriage the only reason why we bother about these things is because our lives is not conforming to the fullness of scripture we have something in our mind that we are asking for our mind is not concentrated towards heaven it's more than preaching it's a life that you live it's more than being a pastor i care less it's more than being an apostle i care less it's more than being a prophet i care less it's not about ministry now i'm talking about your life and every day you are seeking the lord a man that wants to have the passion and the burden of heaven he sought and he seeks the face of the lord he cries daily he cries daily until the lord can send down his mighty hand upon the earth can't you see it can't you see all the death can't you see everything happening all over the world there is darkness on this earth and god is calling you each and every one of us can make a difference you know how your life must conform to scriptures if you see yourself you are still struggling with something it shows that there is a deeper work of sanctification you have not received there's a deeper work of perfection that has not taken place in your life it says that he shall be a vessel unto honor sanctified and meet for the master's use the master wants to use you and i the master wants to use you my sister the master wants to use you my brother the master wants to use us but the master is saying i can't use you you are dirty you are dirty i can't pass through you the master wants to use you to sing good songs the master wants you to minister he wants to use you to perfect the gift of the spirit he says i can't pass through you you are an impure vessel we need total purity in our hearts let your craving and let your desire let it not be of anything on this world I mean nothing of this world nothing of this world that's why Jesus made a statement the prince of the world comments he found it not inside of me when the prince of the world comments is he going to find something inside of you is he going to find something inside of you is he going to say you you are not conforming to the word of God there's a lot of compromise Evil is everywhere all over the earth. God is saying, I'm looking for a man. I'm looking for a man that is going to stand there. And you are that man. You are that woman. God wants our life to conform to the Bible. You might go to church. You might go to a good church. Are you living your life according to scripture? Are you living your life according to the word of God? You must have a body in your heart. There must be a desire in your heart. You must cry to the Lord daily until you receive holiness. Until you receive perfection. You must be like Jesus on this earth. Forget about all these things on this earth. I'm telling you, they are useless. Nothing on this earth gives you joy. I have no worry on this earth. All that makes me weep every day is I say, God, would you save my souls? Would you save my souls? You kill me. Would you save my souls? I'm tired of the normal Christianity we've been professing. I'm tired of the normal religion we've been professing. I need something new. And I say, God, what are you going to do on this end? The devil is the greatest evangelist I've ever seen. The devil is working so hard and it pains my heart. If you need this life, you separate yourself from everything in this world. Not money, not job, not career. Nothing matters to you but Jesus. Nothing matters but the kingdom of God. Is your life hidden in Christ? I pray God is going to help you. I just said, let me preach from my heart to you. And I pray that it's going to bring us to this rest. There is a rest. Don't worry. Someday we are going to heaven. I know it in my spirit. Somebody wrote to me and they said, Bro, Chiluze, Jesus said he's going to take you home very soon. I know I'm going home very soon. I know I am going home very soon. This world is not my own. I only have a short time on this earth. 
And before you know it, I'll leave the earth very soon. I hope we'll leave the earth together. I know I am going home. I know I am not of this world. I don't have any, any damn passion for this world. This world does not give me joy. This world is not giving me peace anymore. I'm tired of this world. I'm tired of it. I don't care about the ministries that we are building. I'm looking out for something. You must have a hunger, a passionate desire for the kingdom. Don't let the devil woo you. Nothing on this earth will give you joy. This is flesh and blood. It will not inherit the kingdom of God. I said, Lord, I want to be where Paul is. I want to go meet Paul. I want to be with Paul. I want to be where Paul is. I want to be where Paul is. If your hope is still on this earth, you are the most miserable of all. Can I confess to you? Many people will not make heaven. Many people will not get to heaven. I'm telling you the simple truth. I know what I'm saying. Many people will not go to heaven. Heaven is deeper than going to church. Heaven is deeper than some certainties. Heaven is deeper than becoming religious, than being gifted. Heaven is deeper than all that. Purge yourself. Ask the Lord, I need sanctification. If the Lord does not give you sanctification, tell the Lord, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. You're going to kill me. If you don't give me sanctification, if you don't give me holiness, is this holiness that makes me weak? Is this holiness? Is this holiness? Is this holiness? Tell the Lord I need holiness. If you don't give me holiness, I'm not looking for money. I'm not looking for marriage. I'm not looking for sex. I'm not looking for billions of dollars. Tell the Lord, if you don't give me holiness, if you don't give me perfection, I'll die. I'll die. I'll die and I'll live the earth. I'm telling you the simple truth. And someday, when Jesus Christ returns for his church, you know, I told you the truth. And I spoke from the Spirit of the Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Bless your children in Jesus.